and salutations. If you are new to the channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I am a modern day performing strongman, a motivational speaker, and personal trainer. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, is I perform feats of strength like bending steel bars, breaking chains, driving nails through wooden boards, rolling up frying pans, twisting horseshoes, other feats of strength like that as part of a live show coupled with a motivational speech and the feats of strength help bring the motivational speech to life and create an experience that will always be remembered. But anyways, being a modern day performing strongman as well as a personal trainer, I know that people have questions for me because I've got kind of a unique take on strength and, and a unique philosophy, etc., etc. And since people, I knew people would have questions for me and I wanted to generate content for my YouTube series, um, I encourage people to ask me questions. And when you ask me a question that I haven't already addressed, I create a customized video just for you and for everybody else that might be interested in it. So, this question comes from African Swordsman. He says, what do you think about the strongmen of today, like Eddie Hall and Brian Shaw, and is old time strongman stronger or weaker? Oof, that is a good question. And I thank you for asking that. So as far as a comparison between the two, in actuality, you can't really compare the two. It's like apples and oranges because, um, you can't deny the influence that performance enhancement drugs have had on training methods that have been espoused since basically the 1960s. Um, so before the before in the era that predated performance enhancement drugs, the old time strongmen were able to do unbelievable things, which was amazing, right? They did the best with what they have. Um, and then the modern day competitive world's strongest men, also amazing. And they do the best of what they have, but what they have is higher because they have the performance enhancement drugs. And when you have the performance enhancement drugs, the rules change. And it's really unfair to compare, it's unfair to the old timers to compare that to compare them to the modern day ones because had the old timers had access to that, um, they might also be able to achieve the things that like Brian Shaw and Eddie Hall and all of them were able to do. Now, I don't know if you are familiar with this show, but there was a show called Strongest Man in History where Brian Shaw and Eddie Hall would uh, look up some of the feats of strength that some of the old timers were known for and they would attempt to do them. And for the most, these flies, I tell you, um, for the most part, they were able to do them at least to a high level, something that these old timers had trained specifically for. Um, and I'm not gonna say it was easy for them, but they were able to do it without really training specifically for it. Now, some of them, they would have experience doing that, like um, um, and, and Andy Bolton, was it Andy Bolton? Had done squats with uh, things from a casino. Eddie Hall and Brian Shaw do squats. Um, there was another one by Warren Lincoln Travis where they would basically do a harness lift. I'm sure Brian Shaw and Eddie Hall have done harness lifts before. Now, if they were to try to do things like the Mighty Adam did, it would be very difficult. I don't see Eddie Hall or Brian Shaw biting through a spike or a chain anytime soon. Um, but kind of knowing their mentality when it comes to this stuff, they would be, still be able to do amazing things, performance enhancement drugs or not. So, oh, the other thing is with the way the old timers did it, they did it as like a theatrical performance. It wasn't a competition. And they had oftentimes would say like, world's strongest man because I can do this feat and nobody else can. Where world's strongest man, 
they tried to create a level playing field as like a general test of like all around strength to see who really was the strongest man in the world. Now the kind of strong man that I am, I go at it more from the standpoint of the old timers because I'm not trying to claim that I'm the strongest man in the world. I come at it from the standpoint of look what's possible. Um, so I don't know if that necessarily answers your question because they were both the strongest they could possibly be with the given circumstances that they each had. And to compare the two is really just a comparison of apples and oranges. And it wouldn't really be fair to the old timers to try to compare themselves to the new ones. And who knows what the new ones would have been capable of without the performance enhancement substances, right? So I hope that answers your question. Um, if not, and if you have some follow-up, drop it in the comments below and I'll create a follow-up video. If anybody else has questions for me, drop it in the comments below and I, if it's not something I've already gotten to, I'll, I'll uh, create a customized video just for you. Um, and if you like this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. If you wanna see more of this sort of thing or you wanna see what else I got going on, subscribe to the channel. I do have some exciting things coming up. But that is it for today. Um, I want to thank you for stopping by again, and in the, until next time, please stay happy, stay healthy, stay strong, please stay safe, everyone. Eric Moss, over and out.